Hey guys, so this video was actually requested and I think it's a really great topic because the cytoskeleton is really often overlooked since it's not always shown in our standard cell diagrams, but to our cells, the cytoskeleton is like infrastructure. So our cells, they are completely reliant on the cytoskeleton. It's going to span the entire cell and it's even going to connect to the plasma membrane. And that membrane, it isn't static, it's dynamic, it's constantly moving, reshaping, assembling, and breaking down just like the cytoskeleton. And this is essential for things like cell movement and division. So what exactly does that cytoskeleton do? Well, it's going to maintain cell shape, provide mechanical support, anchor organelles, allow for intracellular transport, and power cell motility and cell division. These functions, they're going to be carried out by three components, microfilaments, intermediate filaments, and microtubules. So starting with our microfilaments, we also call them actin filaments, and that's because they are made up of actin monomers. A single actin protein is called a G-actin, which stands for globular actin, but when we link our G-actins together into chains, they form F-actin, which is standing for filamentous actin. Microfilaments are the smallest of the three cytoskeletal fibers, but they are also the most dynamic. They're going to directly attach to the plasma membrane, and they're essential for cell shape, forming the cell cortex, which is a supportive layer beneath the membrane. They're going to power cell crawling by building structures like lamellopodia and philopodia. They're going to create the contractile ring that we have during cytokinesis, and they're going to interact with myosin to produce muscle contraction. So when it comes to our intermediate filaments, they are slightly thicker than microfilaments, but they are made up of different proteins, and the proteins that they are made up of is going to depend on the cell type. These are our most stable and permanent part of the cytoskeleton, and this is because they are going to provide mechanical strength, anchor our organelles, and help the cell withstand tension and stress. We can think of the intermediate filaments like cables or steel wires that are running through the cell. They are strong, stable, and built to last. And lastly, we have our microtubules, which are the thickest component of the cytoskeleton. They're going to be made up of alpha-tubulin and beta-tubulin dimers that are going to assemble into hollow tubes. In our animal cells, they're going to radiate outward from the centrosome, which is that microtubule organizing center. So our microtubules, they're going to be involved in forming tracks for motor protein like kinesin and dinian to transport materials. They're going to build the mitotic spindle for chromosome separation during cell division, and they're going to power cilia and flagella, which are used for movement. And they're also going to support cell shape and resist compression. So there we have it, a complete review of the cytoskeleton and its three components. Let me know if I missed something that you were hoping to hear or if you have any more topics you would like me to cover. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.